Okay, that's two cups of rice. It's gonna be layers. So now we're gonna put one can of cream style corn. Let me smooth this out. And we're gonna have our enchiladas on top of the rice. I have one large red bell pepper and one medium green bell pepper. I'm gonna just sprinkle this on this red on here and we're gonna sprinkle some of the green. Nice and festive. Keep a little bit of it for later. The next thing we're gonna do, these are enchiladas. So I have corn tortillas We don't have to roll these enchiladas because it's a casserole. Okay, and that's six. I took a few and cut them into halves so we can fill in our little gaps. Now it is turkey enchiladas. And if you have leftover turkey from the holidays, guys, this is how you can utilize it in a nice casserole. So I just have my turkey. I chopped it up. It's a combination of dark and white meat. Doesn't make any difference. Just boneless and skinless. We're going to put it all in there. It's just enough to make a nice layer. Okay, we're going to sprinkle just a little bit of cumin on here, guys. Just a tad. It is enchiladas. Just a sprinkle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do green enchilada sauce. Okay, we're gonna pour this, and spoon it on, about half of it. Want them nice and juicy, okay? Save a little bit for the top layer. Wouldn't be enchiladas without cheese. This is two cups of Kobe Jack cheese. And I mixed in just a little bit of jalapeno jack. You can omit that if you don't like spiciness, but for these, I kind of want it a little spicy. Again, it is enchiladas. We want them cheesy. Now, we're gonna do our next layer of tortillas be about six more and we're going to overlap them a little bit and remember the ones we cut in half fill in all those gaps we want tortilla everywhere okay looking pretty good right now now we're going to take the remainder of our green enchilada sauce. Should be just enough for the top. We did it. Okay. Another cup of our cheese. Everybody loves cheese, right? So let's make it nice and cheesy. Looks good. Some green onion. Let's put a little bit on the top. And I like sliced black olives. You can omit this if you're not a fan of it, but to me, it just makes the casserole. 
you top it what you like to top it with. But the lady today is topping it with black olives, okay? And remember, we had just a little bit of this red bell pepper and green bell pepper. An easy casserole to do to be creative with leftover turkey. Especially when you didn't have a whole lot left. I just had a little bit. We're going to stick in, this in the oven at 365 for about 25 minutes so everything can incorporate all those good flavors. And then we'll taste. Enchilada, turkey enchilada casserole, guys. So we got rice, we got enchiladas, cheesy layers of turkey. And I can't wait to try it. Okay, it's cutting quite nicely. And you know I told you I'd like olives, so I'm going to go on this end with it. Got rice on the bottom layer. Okay, this is in theory a one dish meal. A nice green salad on the side if you want some extra vegetable. Tastes like a really good cheesy enchilada. If you're a fan of enchiladas, you will be a fan of this. It tastes better than chicken. Mmm. This is really good, guys. 